Good morning, everyone. I'm Mark Turner, president of the Gilroy Chamber of Commerce, and we're continuing our series, our online series, our virtual series, our legislative summit. Uh, since we're unable to all meet together, we've been doing this online. We've had a number of elected officials join us, and this morning we have uh, Mayor Rich Constantine from Morgan Hill. We're honored and glad that he's with us. Mayor, thanks for joining us this morning. Well, thank you, Mark, for inviting me. I really appreciate this, and thank you very much for um, organizing these talks. It really helps to get the word out to people as we are isolated in our, our homes. Uh, this is a good way to get uh, information out to everybody. So again, really appreciate you uh, inviting me and organizing this. Well, glad to do it again. Thank you for joining us. So we'll go ahead and jump into our questions. Our first question is, uh, how is Morgan Hill faring through this COVID crisis? How are they doing? Well, you know, as a city, we're doing really well, but I can, I can imagine, just as I'm feeling, individuals are getting kind of tired of being cooped up and not being able to um, do their normal routine. However, this is starting to become our normal routine. You know, uh, getting up every morning with my daughter, who usually wakes us up first, and uh, says, it's daytime, time to wake up, and, you know, we kind of start the day off. But uh, it's, 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 it's difficult. It's, um, it's not easy. I won't even pretend to say that it is easy. And I can understand where there are some people who want this to end. But I just want to caution people to, to let them know that really the only thing that is preventing the spread of COVID-19 is exactly what we're doing right now. There isn't a vaccine. There isn't a treatment. Although doctors and scientists are working very hard. Um, I think I'm hopeful that we're going to find a, a cure for this very quickly. I think we might find something because the entire world is working on this, not just our scientists and our doctors, the entire world. So I really believe that we're going to find a, a vaccine or a cure in record time. But until then, people have to understand this is the only thing that's stopping us from having this pandemic spread. And the fact that our county really put down the, the, the clamps so soon is one of the reasons why we have really flattened the curve and we don't see the explosion of, of COVID cases. Morgan Hill, I believe the last time I checked uh, was a couple of days ago, we had 32 cases. Um, so people look at that and say, well, it, that means that the disease isn't that, you know, that prevalent. Well, it's not that prevalent because again, we are social distancing. We're not giving the disease an opportunity to spread. Yeah, it's a good reminder of, of that. How, how about the city itself? How is the city faring through this? Well, you know, we are we're right now focused on the, the medical aspect of this emergency, but there's going to be a economic emergency that's coming uh, right behind that. Um, and we're also we're starting to feel that as right now with um, this revenues from the city. You know, our our the city gets tax and and um, sales tax and uh, property tax revenue. And that's how we run the city. Um, we haven't seen the decline in property tax yet, but that's coming. But of course, we've seen the decline in sales tax as businesses have closed and people are not doing uh, their normal shopping. So uh, as a city, um, we are really trying to work with our, our residents to make sure that they have the information that they need and the help that they need, not only for their, their home and being able to sustain themselves, but also a lot of people aren't working. They're out of work and they're looking Toward, for government to give them the information on how they can apply for loans for their, if they have businesses or, or um, unemployment insurance, all the things that they are gonna need to really sustain themselves. So we've worked very hard to uh, get the word out, similar to what you're doing with, with this uh, uh, interview right now, to help our residents. We're doing, we're doing similar things with our businesses, with our Business Resilient Roundtables. We have um, a series where we're working with different industries in the retail, manufacturing, hospitality, and restaurants, uh, where we're getting the word out to them and how they can apply for, for loans so that they can keep running. But we really don't know what's gonna happen until this thing really starts to take, uh, when we start to wind down from the medical emergency and really start getting back to work to see really what's the aftermath. It's kind of like a tornado. You know, you're hunkered down in your, your uh, if you've ever been, lived in the Midwest, which I used to live in the Midwest, you're in your basement and then you really don't know what the world's gonna look like until you come out. That's a good point. We don't know what new, the new normal really is at this point and we're gonna learn that as we go forward. And as we go forward, Mayor, what, um, what do you think uh, the city of Morgan Hill, San Martin and Gilroy can do uh, in order to work more closely together through this and as we come out of this? Well, I think as, a, as, as we call ourselves South County, we've, we've gotten used to working together. 
because sometimes the rest of the county forgets us. Um, so we're good, but we're going to have to strengthen those bonds even more. You know, we work with, together with transportation issues, economic issues, social issues. Um, I think those bonds are going to be even stronger now because we're really going to have to rely on each other. We can't handle it uh, alone. Morgan Hill can't handle the issues of, of the economic downfall and the medical aspect of it alone. We have to work together, not just with South County, but everyone in the county. You know, there's 15 cities in the in the Santa Clara County, and we have to make sure that we don't work in our individual selves. That we we expand, and where Gilroy may come up with an idea, I always tell people I have no problem stealing it, just crossing off Gilroy and writing Morgan Hill on top, because I'm not looking to recreate the wheel. Right, right, and I think that's the that's the good thing that we have going on down here is the relationship that we have between our communities, willing to help one another. And you're right, if if you've got something, we've got something we share those uh, ideas and help one another out. Exactly. What, what do you see ahead for South County? Well, uh, you know, as you mentioned, the, what's the new normal going to be? Um, it's gonna be interesting. We, we've already had issues with transportation. You know, our freeway system needs to be expanded. We've got high-speed rail, uh, issues with Caltrain and having more service from Gilroy to San Francisco. Um, those issues, are gonna be kind of pushed back, but they're not gonna go away. So the new normal, you know, emerging from the, the, uh, the, the bunker, as I use that analogy, and looking at what's outside, it's gonna be interesting to see. Um, they're gonna be, unfortunately, they're gonna be uh, companies and businesses that may not be in existence after this. Um, so we're gonna to have to really look at how we do things going forward. And it's not gonna be a, uh, like a light switch. It's gonna be a slow transition. Um, we're gonna to have to look at how um, restaurants and other businesses are gonna to have to work because there is gonna be some uh, semblance of social distancing that's gonna to have to happen. So we're gonna to have to look at ideas of like extending hours for restaurants. They may have to have outside seating that they, where there wasn't permitted for outside seating. We're gonna to have to allow for that. We weren't allowed for takeout areas where people, can park on the street where they couldn't park before. So we're gonna to have to do things as a city to change the way we operate to help our residents and our businesses work through as we slowly come out of this. You use the term light switch. I've heard someone say it's, it's more of a dimmer switch where we're gonna be slowly right. turning that up as opposed exactly. to a, an instant return to the way we had done business. So Exactly. Hopefully we can minimize the, uh, the number of losses of, of businesses here in South County, but uh, we do know that there's going to be, it's going to look differently when this is all said and done. Unfortunately. But we are here with uh, Mayor Constantine from Morgan Hill. Appreciate you joining us. This is the end of our first session, and we'll be back in a few seconds to begin our second session.